Stetney, the Bluebell engine, works closely with his friend Rusty. One day, the Fat Controller came to see him. Rusty tells me you're in need of change, so I want you to help Toby and Mavis in the quarry. Oh, thank you, sir, said Stetney. Shall I be away long? Just today, replied the Fat Controller. But please be careful, it's easy to get lost up there, so be back before dark. We will, said the driver. Stepney soon arrived at the quarry. We're glad you're here to help us, said Toby. Are those my trucks? asked Stepney eagerly. Only some of them. There's masses more in the sidings, replied Mavis. The more the merrier, whistled Stepney. Stepney was really enjoying himself. The dustier he became, the harder he worked. Mavis and Toby were impressed. The quarry foreman spoke to his driver. We have a night special to take to the building site at the new branch line. Do you want to pull the train? Yes, please, said the driver. But he should have asked the fat controller first. Night came. Be careful, Stepney, advised Toby. I will, and thank you for a lovely day. I do hope I can come back again. The line can be spooky, said Mavis. Thank you for the warning. And with that, Stepney puffed away into the night. Stepney arrived on time and made the delivery of rock and stones for the workmen. Then he set off for home. That's when the trouble began. The fog came down. Mavis was right. Suddenly, everything does look spooky. There's a signal box. And the signal light is green. Someone must have been expecting us. But they hadn't. The points had been set in the wrong direction, but Stepney didn't realize this. Home, here we come, he thought. Then they approached an unknown area. The driver made a decision. It's best if we rest here until the fog clears. What are those strange sounds, wondered Stepney. Then the fog slowly lifted. Oh no, wailed Stepney. We're in the scrapyards. His driver and fireman went for help. Stepney was all alone, but not for long. Two diesels approached. Got you this time, Stepney. You'll make very fine scrap indeed. Buffer him, Bert. The diesels took him to the large smelter's shed. Bye bye, Stepney, said the diesel. Stepney looked up. Above him was a huge grabber. This engine's not for scrapping, shouted Stepney. The grabber wasn't listening. But just as it was about to grab hold of him, it stopped. There stood the fat controller. It's a good thing I've chosen to visit this yard tonight. Shaving you from scrap is getting to be a habit, Stepney. Please stop it. Yes, sir, but I have learned something. What's that? There's no place like home. And that's exactly where you're going now. Bluebells forever, sighed Stepney. 